Welcome back to the third and final part of this tutorial series of creating a countdown in After Effects. We need to click on the stopwatch for the expand right and right. This Come that well that's gonna take the value of the comp with then multiply it by we are gonna use again the parse and function because we're gonna use the time as an argument for this function uh, we We're gonna put time times time times. Let's put twenty. I'll put twenty. You put whatever you want, but I recommend you putting twenty. Now, what this effect is gonna do? It's gonna take the width of the comp and multiply times 20 times the length of the comp so it's going to multiply the width of the comp times 100 because the length of the comp is 5 seconds 5 times 20 but now we have to transform the position of this so click on the comp on the layer and then click P on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch for the position and we are gonna write another expression here so as you can see here this tutorial has many expressions we are using a lot of expressions now the expression here it's open and close brackets because we need to pass in two values the one for the x coordinate and the one for the y coordinate time times 10 i'm gonna explain this after you check it out so now it's at zero and now let's move it let's put half here so it can render faster what do you see there? It's moving. It's working. It's working as expected. It's moving left from right to left. It's moving from right to left. Right there. So it's working. Oops. But anyways, guys, this is just After Effects. I'm not gonna complicate you. To, I'm gonna I'm not gonna complicate you about programming because if you want to know about programming just check out my other tutorials which I'm gonna post very soon about programming it's gonna be all on my website at www.dphantom.com so go to, to the website and check it out we have a forum we have a blog we have a membership system you can sign up uh, PM users comment on their profiles comment on videos comment on tutorials use stuff the blog the forum use whatever you want it's a pretty good time now we're almost finished let's let's make a background because we have transparency there and if we, when we render it out it's gonna render the black it's not gonna render the transparent so let's make a background for y oh by the way you can use control y to insert a new solid or just go to layer new solid and we're gonna cut gonna move it to the back and we are gonna make a ramp ramp generate ramp we're gonna drop it there white and then the radian but since we have 
let's leave it now this looks right but doesn't look like an old film or anything like that so let's add the uh, uh, noise to this and to do that we want to apply the noise to every layer in that so click there you know, adjustment layer and then put uh, grain add grain to the adjustment layer then final output and it gets that kind of what we wanted given an old look like a like a vital lighter yellow kind of now it's gonna take more time to render because of the grain But we want it to look cool. Also, the grain is more, is too. Well, it's fine. It's fine there. The grain is fine. Let's look at there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Guys, this tutorial is for you. Hope you like it. Now we're almost there, we just need to add some sound, and I guess that's it. Right? Right guys? So, this bit, this bit one, uh, it's pre-made for 5 seconds long. Uh, composition but if you want you can uh, uh, use it for a more for a longer composition just enable time remapping and it's gonna loop so because it's looping I don't want to have I'm gonna trim it to like around four and a half seconds and then I'm gonna have the final bit to the end of the comp it should be at the end right there and let's preview it I'm gonna put quarter so it can render faster so as you can see there it's pretty good it's kind of what we want it now let's add the projector sound at the end. This projector sound is just a generic sound of a projector. And you can also use time remapping to loop it in a longer composition. So as you can see there we have we have done the countdown. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you apply this effect to your films. And you can also find um, different uses for this because we use a lot of expressions and some complicated ones. I mean they're not too complex but they are complicated for beginners who are trying to use expressions and after effects uh, these expressions are very useful for dynamic projects or bigger projects or when you want to repeat the effect and you want to do keyframes and all that stuff and 
you will learn a lot more about expressions with programming because programming is the basic for expressions so check out my other tutorials I have a tutorial which I uploaded like two years ago oh, that was my first tutorial but I spent some time doing some some stuff and got very complicated and I couldn't do uh, any more tutorials but now it's different I'm gonna be doing more tutorials in After Effects some um, programming Java C++ PHP uh, JavaScript you name it we are gonna be in a great season we're gonna use many we're gonna do a lot a lot of tutorials I hope you guys and I hope you guys join the site and explore the site and use the site because it has many useful things. So see you guys next time. Hope you got a great time with this tutorial.